Hey everyone, Andrew back again and welcome to another video and today I'm just wanting to run a bit of an idea past you guys but before we get into that though this is my first video for 2020 so I hope everyone had a happy and safe New Year's. Anyway, um, yeah I'm wanting to run a quick idea amongst you guys and uh, hopefully a lot of you guys are keen to get involved with this one. I've been kind of thinking about doing something like this for a while now, kind of like an award show for the horror community. Um, I don't think it's ever been done before, or if it has, it's been quite a while since anything like this has happened. Now, I actually got this idea from a fellow YouTuber called Do You Nerd. They're a video game based channel, and they basically do the same thing for the gaming community. And I really like the idea, you know, it helps build up some smaller channels, just helps bring everyone together and it just seems like a lot of fun. So hopefully a lot of you guys are interested because if not, obviously this idea will not work. So basically for the next 12 months, I want to run a Horror Tuber of the Month award show. And by the year's end, um, if it continues, hopefully it does, throughout the entire year, the 12 people that won Horror Tuber of the Month will have the opportunity to win Horror Tuber of the Year. So how this is going to work is every month four people will be nominated and it'll go on throughout the 12 months. So by the year's end, hopefully if everything works out, we'll have 12 winners. So I'll run through the rules and conditions first, I guess. So there's four major criterias for this. Um, one, which is probably a no-brainer, but you cannot nominate yourself. The second one is um, the nominees have to have less than a thousand subscribers. And I do apologize for this, but I kind of wanted to make it so some of the smaller, more underrated channels get a little bit more exposure and help them grow throughout the year because I think that's really really important to help keep the horror community going. Um, the third criteria is that the nominees have to be part of the horror community and they have to upload pretty regularly and pretty consistently. I'm not talking about every day or every second day but if it's once a week a couple of times a week regularly and consistently that is fine. And the fourth um, criteria is the winner of the previous month, or the winner, whoever won Horror Tuber of the Month, basically cannot be nominated again. So I'll leave those in the description box below the rules for that. Now how this will work, and this really comes down to you guys, because I will need you guys' involvement for this, because I'm not going to be nominating every month. I'm only going to be doing it for the first time, and the end of the year um, when we finally get round to nominating the Horror Tuber of the Year. So yeah, if enough of you guys are interested, I'll leave this video up for probably about a week. And if I get a lot of feedback and you guys want to participate in this, um, I'll upload a video nominating four Horror Tubers um, for the month of January. Then under that video, all you guys will do is vote for the person that you would like to see win Horror Tuber of the Month for January. Then at the end of the month, I'll tally up whoever had the most votes wins, and then it'll be passed on to them for the following month. So the next month, whoever wins for January will upload a video nominating four Horror Tubers within the said criteria that I just mentioned before. And it'll continue on. So whoever wins for that month will upload a video nominating four new people for the following month. Now, if someone has a vote for them and they don't win for the month, you can re-vote for them again throughout the course of the year. But you just cannot vote for winners. So if someone wins in March, that's it. They cannot have another um, nomination for the rest of the year. So... Yeah, um, hopefully you guys are pretty keen for this. I think it could be a pretty cool idea, a little bit of fun, but it will take a little bit of work from you guys as well. So yeah, um, if enough of you are interested, like I said, I'll leave this video up for about a week and then I will nominate four people and it'll run throughout the year and then by the year's end, it'll come back to me 
and I will make a video announcing the 12 people that won Horror Tuba of the Month for 2020. And then under that video, everyone will vote to see who they would like to win Horror Tuba of the Year. Now, there is another thing though, if you are nominated, um, I would like you to upload a video. It doesn't have to be an overly in-depth or long video, but just a quick little video basically talking a little bit about you and your channel, just to help people get to know you a little bit more and maybe increase your odds in terms of the votes. So hopefully I've explained everything well enough, but like I said, I'll leave everything in the description box below. And yeah, um, I think this is a pretty cool idea if I do say so myself. And I really hope a lot of you guys are interested in this too, because, yeah, I'd like to see something like this happen for the next 12 months. Um, I think it could be a pretty cool thing just to bring everyone together and to help give some exposure and um, a little bit of recognition to some of the smaller channels. Because I do think there is quite a few pretty underrated channels here within the horror community that I would definitely like to see grow a little bit more. So... With that being said, I'm going to wrap up the video here, so let me know in the comments if you guys are interested, and if you are, um, within the next week I will upload a video, the first video kickstarting this award show um, for January. So yeah, that's it for this video, let me know what you guys think in the comments below, and thank you for watching.